Well, it took me longer than I thought. I'm back. Welcome back to my station. But it took me longer than I thought to get my paint mixed because I'm doing a fall thing. I don't know why I'm into suddenly oranges and yellows and reds and a brown and fall colors. I'm not sure why. They're not normally my favorite colors. Um, I'm getting ready to do, it's a 12 by 12 canvas. And I'm going to do negative space. And I've got these five medicine cups with paint in them. And actually, I think I'm going to add a little more paint. I probably have too much. No, I'm going to go with what I've got. Had a minor catastrophe a little bit ago. <laughs> Nothing major. I've got it cleaned up. It's one of those fun things when you're painting. I'm sure everyone has had them. So, had a cup of paint dump. So, I'm going to get started. Um, every All the paints um, have silicone in them, except for the gold and the copper. Uh, and um, I have... I have used, let's see, I've used from Americana bright orange, bright yellow, saffron, and Hansa green um, from Liquid Tex and or uh, uh, Artist Loft. I have used a their orange um, Liquid Tex is bright orange color. Oh, I put them all away. Um, yellows is, is yeah. I use the cadmium red light hue, which is actually an orange looking color. Um, burnt sienna with a, and some raw sienna in it. I've used permanent yellow to get mix some of these colors together. Um, I've used cadmium red. Um, the gold and the most of these colors were mixed with using cadmium orange and yellow. Um, so, or the yellow and orange from Americana. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to tell you exactly which colors and everything. Um, anyway, I'm going to get started. Don't want this video running long because I've rambled. So we're just going to do these in an odd way. Ugh, just dumped it on my finger. And again. <laughs> I'm going to give up on thinking about gloves or trying to remember gloves. Um, let's see. Let's put that there. That one there. Eh, that's going to be out of the wear. Um, and that one there. And that one there. And I'm going to start pouring white paint. Because it's going to be a flip, a negative space flip and drag. <laughs> Not supposed to pour paint on your cups, but I do. I don't know why I do that. Even on my bigger cups. If I have enough white. I haven't done a 12 by 12 in quite a while, so. I'm going to have that paint and color and it's run out. See? I already knew. And I'll worry about covering the sides when I'm done. It's kind of nice to have it running over the edges at least, but if I don't get the sides covered before I start, I don't get too worried. I leave my finger in the paint. <laughs> I need to find a smaller offset spatula because it's kind of a pain in the butt using the big one when I'm trying to maneuver around things like this. I thought I had one, but I don't know where it is. I don't. I don't ice cakes anymore, so like that. <laughs> I hardly ever bake. What are we talking about? Baking, I enjoy cooking more than I do baking. So anyway, off topic there. So hopefully this will make me happy. <laughs> and the poor gods are going to be on my side. My mind has been on friends 
acquaintances and family that live in Florida or those of us that I know, we have some people in the pouring community that actually have um, live, I believe, in the Caribbean area um, and may have had the effects of Irma today. I'm not sure. But I just hope, I, oh, I just pray, I hope and pray for um, people's safety. I'm not, I'm not talking just my friends. I'm talking to everybody. I keep living here in the Midwest. I keep going, I'll take this. Come on that front from um, Canada. Come on down and through and run it out for us. <laughs> make that make that our weather cold. I don't care. I'll take the cold early for uh, a cold spell for getting rid of Irma. If we could just push her back out to sea. East of Florida. Just keep it pushed out so it doesn't come back into the. This I had this can. Oh, you know what? I bet you it was pushed forward. I was saying I had this canvas level to where I should not be having this problem over here. Very little paint. Here we go. There we go. I'm trying just to get it to where it has you know some paint soft on the edge. Okay. Here we go. Number one. Number two. Number three, this one. Number four. Nice, I'm glad it's filling back in better. I had one the other day that didn't want to fill in. And we're gonna pull number five this way again. Some of them had a little less paint than others in them. Oh, I like this so far. Except for right here. There we go, it's filling in. I don't know why it didn't fill in the others. And another awesome runoff. Go ahead, play with the sides a little bit while I wait for the it to play around a little more. Mm. I have nice size cells. I have some pretty big ones, some smaller ones. runoff over here some runoff up there yay so I didn't get to pour last night, so I was chomping a little bit at the bit. This is this is called my 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 wine, <laughs> my relaxation. Now then, let me just see if I can slow this drip down over here so that it doesn't continue pulling too much. Maybe along the front too. I don't know if I want to do anything to it. <laughs> Trying to decide.
like there's something I don't like yet. Oh, torch and it's, yeah. I don't want to torch a whole lot. I do want to torch it some. Okay. There's one spot that I'm not as wild about. Oh, gosh. If I can't keep it, <laughs> I don't quit getting stuff in my hands. Let's see if I can get a little scrape out of one of these to, yeah. Do here. muddy color. I don't like that white spot. Rather than tilt for the first, because I can always tilt off if I don't want it later. But uh, shoot. Maybe that was underneath it though. No, that was on my, so there we go. This side is gorgeous over here. I don't think I could have asked for anything. better. <laughs> yeah, I didn't finish touching the sides up while I watched this a little bit. I really like what's going on over there. Even what I put on, I, I like what I did. I know I'm going to get a little frustrated that it isn't quite what I wanted, but that I'm not minding. Had to um, just had to get a pour in tonight. I needed it. It's just, it just takes my mind off of all kinds of stuff. Zen. I'm hoping I get my. I've ordered some Vallejo, but some of it's on back order, which I knew probably going in that whatever I ordered was going to be on back. Some of it was going to be on back order. But, hopefully Dick Buck says it should be here by the end of the month. Maybe 1st of sep this, or September. 1st of October. So, I'm just getting excited to try some of these other paints and things. So, let's go back up here and look at this stuff. After I get some of this white paint. A little bit of white paint put back here so it doesn't. I may add some wispies like I like. I'm going to drizzle a little white over here and re drag over it. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, where's the longer one? Yeah, that's the one I want. Kind of cool. I like the brown in that spot. Man, <laughs> I need to find my glasses. <laughs> Take them off. Don't put them in the same spot. I haven't had to wear a 
don't wear glasses for um, distance. I just need them now for reading. I used to when I was uh, younger. I had to wear distance, but I had LASIK, so that that is corrected. I just blind to read. <laughs> Wasn't in for pastel paints tonight, colors tonight. That's for sure. Keep keeping it over here. <laughs> I've been collecting skins. <laughs> oh, no. That uh, paper towel I have over here looks like it's <laughs> something. Somebody's stuck a pig. It's got so much red and brownish colored on it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a go on. Ah, another country heard from air bubble too now. There we go. Stop. My life is a never-ending story when it comes to these animals wanting their their way. What can I say? I have to stop and let her out. Put you on pause so I can let her out. I'll be back in one moment. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. The only thing I did while I was gone, while I had you on pause, was I took um, my palette knife over this so that it wouldn't sit there too long. And I like it real well. I'm trying to blow the pops and bubbles that I see coming up. There's a spot that is there, a little hole. Looks like it may have had metallic paint in it. My, because I did put copper and gold in, but I have a feeling it may sink. I thought I'd try it at least once myself. And the green has a little iridescent medium in it. And that needs to be white paint put over there so it runs off the side. I can't see how to turn this canvas here in a minute. I actually don't think I said I'm trying to just pop bubbles in my white paint. Had quite a bit of bubble in it looks like. I had mixed it and it had stood for quite a while, but not long enough, apparently. <laughs> okay, now before I do this, I gotta shift these things over here back over here out of the way so I have a little more space. So hopefully, I don't get it set this down in any of the runoff so that I can have it for skins. One more time, do a turn. So I can get this this side of the painting side covered. Oh, it's pretty too. Not quite as much color runoff, but it is has color runoff. Yay! I like it when I make just about the right enough paint. <laughs> and we're gonna scoot this back before it drips there. Yeah. I don't 
don't know. I'm sure if some of you guys were able to talk to me, you'd tell me something or see something that I don't, I could do. But. You can't. <laughs> Um, I don't play a lot with them for a couple of reasons. Um, I played some. I mean, I, I, there are times that I just don't like something and I'll play with it to try and get rid of it and clean it, change it, do what I want it to do. <laughs> you know, try to tell the poor gods, I don't want this. Um, but most of the time, I give the painting control. The paint, I should say, control. You need something? Food? Yes, there's stuff out in the garage, don't forget. Your Parmesan chicken tender things you could heat up. My son, we, we had to go to, <laughs> he's a junk food junkie. We um, had a, my daughter-in-law's stepfather passed, so we've went to the viewing tonight, and we have the funeral tomorrow, but, yeah, he, 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 I love my son, but he can be lazy when it comes to fixing food. All he has to do is turn the oven on and stick the Parmesan chicken tenders in the oven, put them on the pan, but. He doesn't do that very often. He's lazy when it comes to feeding himself. Like this one? Mm-hmm. So, I shouldn't say lazy because he feeds himself, but there are times he's just, mmm, Still think you need to do one of the fluorescent paints. I will when I buy some fluorescent paints. And we can put it in your room and, and we could have get your black light party. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could do for Halloween. I could do something for Halloween and... Put it on the front porch. We'll see. The only thing I may do is pull some wisps out, like right here. If I do like my wispies. Hey, little wispies. These bubbles here. My thing when I do wispies, I really try to make them like they came right off the painting or right, you know, out of what I poured. Just so that it will continue out this way. Oh my goodness, my dog is going to drive me up a wall. She seems to think. There we go. Are you two quit? Both of you. Pitter patter little boys and little boy and girl. Sometimes I stick my palette knife in one of the colors. That's going to be a lot of paint. There we go. Maybe not. And then drag it so that I get a little more of a color that I would like to have picked up in one section. Green here and where did 
I see this? Oh, I was going to pull it from here. One of the things that I like real well when doing this type of thing is, or the, the flip and drag, is that some of this paint barely starts to show through the white. This is a little more obvious, but I have some over here, which you can barely, I think you can see a little bit on the screen, just barely peeking out. I think I'm done. Yeah, there's one spot here. What do I want to do there? Nah. I think I'm done. I'm not going to touch it. You see where I touched here? How it's now just melded right into the painting like it was part of it. In fact, that right there looks kind of like that right there. And that did that on its own down here. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Have had a gnat flying around or a fruit fly. I think our banana, yeah, we got one banana left. I think that's part of where they, he's staying. Well, um, oh, guess what? It's doing it. Yes. Yes. This is what I love. So. I'm going to take and drag more up here, pick up a little more red, and pull it up through here again, because it's starting to do that bleeding that I like, where it feathers, feathering bleeding, I don't know what you want to call it, hopefully it'll do some more over there. don't know if it will or not. It's done it on this green and it's doing it over here on this red a little bit. almost make another mess that's what I had a problem with earlier today or this evening my paint started I dumped the paint over <laughs> just flat out the iPad that stand tipped over and splashed dumped over my green which wasn't a ton of paint and it wasn't an expensive paint so not quite so bad but I still hate wasting paint scraped up as much as I could See me trying to scrape it up with a pet with this tongue depressor. Put it back in the in the cup. Okay, I I'm. There's one spot I know what I'm going to do there. I'm going to take some green out of here. Touch of red coming from here. And I'm going to take this one, drag it out a little more. There we go. I sit here and pick it out it well, yeah we're done I'm done I'm stopped stopping 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 one more quick, quick pass to make sure I got all the bubbles any bubbles that are still in it to come up and out because it's not going to do anything with the oil with my silicone anymore just trying to encourage any bubbles to pop come to the surface so 
done. Pause you, take it down, because I don't want to make you dizzy. And I'll show you a close-up. Okay, here we go. There it is overhead. We'll bring it down closer. I like the larger cells. And what's funny about it is I had stirred the, the paint more than normal to get large cells, but hey, I'm not complaining. I like little cells too, but this is what I'm talking about, this bleed I love. And I love the opaqueness of this right in here. Look at the little webbing. And then this that's just barely peeking out in here. And there's a bleed right there. A little bit of wispies over it. And then right there is more of the hidden. Look at those red and white ones. Those are pretty cool. And I'm trying to keep the glare off of this, but it makes the this oh, really d kind of dark in here. And let's go back up here. And over here was something else. What did I see over here that I thought was cool? Oh, these right here remind me of autumn corn. So there's some edges I got to make sure they get covered back up again. Well, I want to thank you for watching. There you go. If you pretty cool shot right in there. And say that if you did enjoy this and liked my video please click like and if you'd like to see more of my videos and what I do then click subscribe and if you mark the little bell it'll, it'll let you know when I'm posted something or if I go live I don't know if I'll go live there's some oh my gosh look right there that little face oh that's kind of cool kind of reminds me of a little bit of an owl anyway you guys have a great evening, and I will catch up with you guys next video.